a national public health emergency. While the U.S. is in the grip of a national emergency because of the overuse of these powerful medicines, had a really successful business, happy marriage, lost everything. Millions of people in other parts of the world are dying in agony because they can't get hold of them. It was excruciating. I wished I was dead. This is among the most inequitable distributions we have ever seen in global health. Policymakers in countries around the world look to the opioid epidemic in the United States and fear that something similar can happen in their countries. For this reason, many are afraid of importing or giving access to necessary medical pain relief. Comparing access to opioid pain relief in different countries tells a revealing story. While the US gets 30 times more opioid pain relief medication than it needs, Mexico gets only 36% of what it needs. China meets around 16% of its need, while in India, only 4% of the need of these drugs is actually met. In Nigeria, it's a minuscule 0.2%. There are many reasons that can explain this inequity. Lack of money should not be one of them. Closing this divide would literally cost pennies per child 